You're probably asking yourself the question, how will a pair of glasses help me get better at my game? Now first of all, the electronic device that you're looking at. No, 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 no. What's up people? <laughs> Let's just get right into it. So basically, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna get right into it, like I just said. <sighs> nice one, but... <laughs> Okay, these people, these people, okay, these people, they're called sponsorships. We'll be doing a video on how to get a sponsor. Okay, I'm just diving right into it. No introduction or anything, just onto it. Onto it. Now listen, okay, listen to me, listen, okay? Uh, just me and you, me and you, okay? Um, we have these people, okay? Sponsorships. You know what a sponsorship is, right? Like, Gamma is a high, like big sponsorship. Control Freak, maybe. Just a lot of these bigger sponsorships, and I, like, you hear these YouTubers be like, oh, use code KYS for 10% off, and it's just like, oh, that's pretty cool, There's, they're promoting a product that they like. Well, that's at least how it should be. Now, what I'm about to say, you might be one of those people, okay? You might be one of those people, and I apologize, okay? I'm not hating on you or anything, I'm just- I'm just trying to give advice. And take- if you're a smaller YouTuber yourself, please take advice. Or even bigger YouTubers, because bigger YouTubers can do this too. Like, it's highly unlikely, but they can do it too. So if you're a smaller YouTuber, okay? I- I've noticed this typically in the COD community, but this does happen probably in the Minecraft community and any community. Just the gaming community overall. Let's say you're a YouTuber with like 300 subs, okay? Um, 300, and you're you're looking for a sponsorship, or you see a sponsorship out of nowhere, okay? And you look at them, and you're like, wow, this is pretty cool. I'm actually gonna apply for the sponsorship, okay? And they say yes, or let's just go with a different case, okay? Let's just say this sponsorship comes to you, okay? Says, hey, man, can we slide into the DMs? And you're like, you know, I want you to slide into my DMs, so I'm gonna enable you to slide into my DMs, okay? I was just talking, like, to the right away from my mic. That was retarded. Yeah, so, <laughs> you're in the DMs, okay? You're like, damn, this company wants to DM me. This is incredible. Like, this is sick. This is this is the next milestone in my YouTube career, okay? Now, I've been offered several companies, so I know this from experience. And they're all smaller companies. If this has ever happened to you, let's say you're a smaller YouTuber and sponsorship went up to you, and... They're like, hey man, we would like to sponsorship you. You will have your own code and everything. We'll freaking uh, fly you out to Hawaii. Hey, but no, seriously. They they offer you a 10% code and then they say it. Then they say it, okay? They they, they, they drop this on you. They literally drop this. They just, dro they just drop it on you. And they're like, but... but <laughs> We suggest buying buying the item before you promote it just to see if you like it. Nope, they don't send it to you or anything for free because they're they're what they're coming to you, okay? They're coming to you to sponsor you, okay? No, they don't like oh we will give you a free product. If you don't like it, just send it back or something. No, no, they don't do that at all. They're like, how about you just buy our own product? I swear that's like their way of making sales. It's it's so cringy. Like literally they find smaller YouTubers, try and make like freaking Make them like all hyped because like oh we're throwing a code at you that you can use for your own viewership like your fan base I meant to say and it gets them hyped up but then they're like oh hey buy a product and it gets the YouTuber thinking he's like oh wait maybe I should buy the product maybe it is a good product and it's not it's just a rip off of some other bigger company this is something I noticed and I find it so cringy I'm sorry but. I know there's a lot of smaller YouTubers with these, like, like these companies, and they have their own code and whatever, and these are, like, very small companies and whatever. I'm not trying to bash on you guys. I'm just trying to give you advice. If you're, like, a smaller YouTuber, okay, do not take these smaller sponsorships, because I, I betcha at least half of these guys don't even like the product. They're just using... Like, they're, they're just using it for the code, just to say they have a code for a company 10% off. Like, some YouTubers think it's cool. It's like, like... Oh, yeah, <laughs> use code freaking SPARKED for 10% off bleach. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to use one of those jokes. Okay, I feel shit now. But I feel like most of these guys think it's cool, okay? And you can't blame them, it is kind of cool. But listen, if you're a small YouTuber, I'm gonna give you some advice, okay? Some advice. If a company goes to you and they're like, Oh, yeah, if, but you might want, like, you don't want to promote a product that you don't like or something like that. So buy our products to see if you like it. That's a red flag. That, oh, that's literally a red flag. If you're actually a proper company, they would send you an item. And I think, like, bigger companies don't even care if you send it back. But even if they ask you to send it back, they're still, like, that's that's a good sign, okay? The red flag be like, oh, yeah, buy your product. 
no, you sh no, you do not buy their product. They're coming to you. You know what I mean? Now, if you're applying for a sponsorship, um, I don't know. I don't know about that, but if they still ask you to buy their product, I guess it's more on your side. I don't know, but... I'm just gonna leave that. No, even if you sh sh like, even if you apply and they accept you, that also means they want you. They just haven't found you yet, or ever, and they still should send the product to you, or ever, or at least you know what I mean. Like it's just it's weird. Like a sponsorship goes up to you and like, oh yeah, just buy your product. It's just like, oh, I feel like you you just want another customer and you're just throwing a code at me so you can get that extra sale. Anyways, I just find it cringy. Also, these sponsorships have their like own custom made intros that you can use for YouTube videos too, and I feel like they just try to go for the like smaller guys just to try to like get their own sales, just to make them think that like, damn, you're sponsored, you're so cool, and then they're like, oh, but you have to buy it, and they're like. I have to buy it, and then they buy it, and it's just, I don't know, it's just a pet peeve of mine, and I don't know, I just, if you're a smaller YouTuber, do not go right down that road, please just don't go down that road, like, I've seen so many rip-offs, I really have, and, I don't know, it's just, like, I've never taken a sponsorship, there are sponsorships I went for and got declined because they're bigger sponsorships, and it's understandable, but I'll never just go for a crappy sponsorship I don't like just to say I have a 10% code. It's kind of fake, in my opinion. And it's okay for doing that. You're, you're probably just naive at this point. You're lacking experience. And it's alright. It, it really is alright. Just just take my advice, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed. I, uh, I know it's kind of a weird video, but I'm pretty sure we all have had a friend that's like a smaller YouTuber or whatever, or you just see the smaller YouTuber. Like, I mean like under a thousand, maybe over a thousand, just in like... I don't know, somewhere in the four digits, uh, the three digits, and sub count. Just one of those guys that you have used those, like, weird intros, and you're like, oh, yeah, I use 10% off freaking, uh, just rip-off companies. Most of these companies are rip-offs, too. They're, they're, like, they're ripping off other companies. Like, they're literally, they have the same product, they just change it just a tiny bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, don't go around buying freaking... Uh, it's like control freak, like form a lab. I don't even know. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know. I found this way too amusing. But anyways, uh, yeah. See ya. <laughs>